Hi, I'm Lisa, and you're at home with Imagine F. Today we're going to make some elegant art with math. These are spiralaterals. And a spiralateral is a spiral structure design based on a repeated series of commands using angle and length. Huh? Basically, you're using your multiplication tables to make spirals. Let me show you what I mean by that. So we, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the, the simplest one. So we're gonna base that on the one times table. So I bet you know your one times table, right? One times one is one times two, one times three, All right, now we're gonna need some grid paper for this because we're gonna draw this pattern and make it a really cool design. If you have graph paper, that is great. And the smaller the, the size of the square, the better. I, don't, I didn't have graph paper, so I made this grid and I'm using tracing paper. But whatever you've got will work. Um, we're going to take this sequence, this series of commands, which is kind of like a code, and we are going to add in a rotation. And we're going to start with our simplest rotation, which is a square. We're going to go 90 degrees. So we're going to do, we're going to draw one. We're going to rotate 90 degrees and draw two. Rotate 90 de degrees and draw three. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to start with one. Rotate 90 degrees. I could rotate my whole book, but I'm just going to draw down. So I'm going to go along, down, two, backwards, three, and up, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to, so each time it's 90 degrees. So again, I'm going to go forwards, five this time. One, two, three, four, five. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six this time. And now we're going to go backwards, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upwards for eight. And forwards for nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Makes a spiral. But we're going to repeat this. We've gotten to the end. We're going to go back to the beginning. Oops. <laughs> Um, we're going to go back to one. So we're going to go continue to rotate. So one down, two backwards, three up, four forwards, five down. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven. And you will see this pattern start to repeat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we go back to the beginning again. So each time we're going to go back again until we meet up with our start point right here. So I'm probably going to speed this up so you can see it happen. And we're going to finish up with nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I take the grid away, there's our spiral. If you color it, it'll look like that. So that's your one times table represented as a really cool spiral lateral. If, if you like this, are you hooked? Are you hooked yet? Um, we can do this again with a different um, multiplication sequence. So, for instance, let's try twos. I bet you know your twos as well. That's not very tidy. All right, one times two is two. Two times two, four. Three times two, so you want to write enough so that you start to see a pattern. Because when we've got all these double digits, we need to make them into single digits. So these are, these are going to be fine. We're going to have 2 works fine, 4, 6, 8 is fine, uh-oh. So we're going to add these together. Anytime you've got a double digit um, in your sequence, you're going to have to add those two digits together. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 
one plus four. That's right. Two plus zero is two. Two plus two is four. Now I'm starting to see a repeated pattern. So I'm gonna stop. This is gonna be our sequence all the way up to nine. We've got two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine. And that is our sequence for our two times. And if we wanted to, we'd put this under here and we're gonna draw it. But I'm gonna leave you to, the, to do that by yourself. These are really, really cool. Remember, they get more and more elaborate as you go on. If you don't have graph paper, like I mentioned, you can make your own grid. I just measured lines across the top and bottom and the sides, and I made these a half a centimeter. So the smaller your square, the better. Um, if you uh, if you have graph paper, that's great. You don't even need to do that. You can try other number patterns. If you know the Fibonacci sequence or some other cool patterns, you could try you could try pi. See what happens if you put pi in there. Um, you could try different angles. The easiest angle is the um, 90 degree square rotation, but you could try a 45 degree rotation. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. But remember, you have to, to create your sequence. You're going to have to um, use your multiplication knowledge your um, multiplication tables, and then you have to simplify it into single digits and then draw. All right, I hope you have fun with it.